Hey, Heather, good morning. Good morning, Paul. How are you today? I'm doing great. It's a beautiful morning as always here in South Fort Lauderdale. I got to tell you, Heather, I I'm happy to see you as always, but I'm also a little bit sad. Sad? Because yeah. the week's coming to an Today's end. Today's our last day. You know, I'm not, know. I'm not sad just because I'm here in the studio and you're out there in the beautiful weather, but I'm going to be sad to miss you. We've had a really great week together. I've enjoyed the, I've enjoyed the uh, interaction and your perspective on things. But the good news is I think we've pretty much made you an expert in yacht engineering over the course of the last five days. <laughs> I think so. I've had a great week as well. I've learned so much. I learned about staying connected while at sea. I've learned how to limit vibrations on your boat. And today I'm going to learn about how to stabilize your boat. So the learning continues and I'm, I'm really excited. I've had a great week. I'm also sad it's coming to an end, but we've had a great time. Well, I think one of the biggest challenges coming ahead is going to be which brokerage company is going to be pushing to hire Heather Lee O'Keefe as the new <laughs> expert in the yacht brokerage world. That's right. We'll see about that. <laughs> okay. So as I mentioned in our, uh, in our opening, you're with Seakeeper this morning and you're talking with uh, Nick Buckman and Captain Brian about uh, right. gyro stabilization. Give us a little idea of what we're going to be looking at today. Sure, so today we're at Lauderdale Marina, not to be confused with Lauderdale Marine Center, which is right down the road. We're here right behind 15th Street Fisheries, and I'm about to hop on the Seakeeper boat to see what we're gonna learn about gyro stabilization today. Well, you've so become we such an Captain expert Brian. this week, Heather. I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna be a fly on the wall and I'm gonna let you take the helm. Okay, sounds good. All right. And here we are with Nick Buckman of Seakeeper, who's going to be so kind to help me on board. Welcome to the Seakeeper boat. Thank you, gentlemen. And it's a beautiful day. We're out in the open, open air. So I'm going to take this mask off if you don't mind. Good idea. <laughs> All right. Fine with me. Thank you. Set this over here. There you go. All right, Nick. So today we're talking about gyro stabilization. Can you just tell our viewers what that means? <laughs> Basically, a gyro stabilizing systems eliminate virtually all of your side-to-side -side boat roll. So all that uncomfortable, uneasy, seasickness causing feeling is virtually eliminated with our systems and, and gyroscopic technology in general. That sounds great. Is this a new technology? Um, believe it or not, it, it isn't. It's been around for over a century in the marine in marine applications. Um, it's used in aviation. This is actually a small one in your in everyone's cell phone. Oh wow! So um, the technology's been around for a long time. And in, in one of the first boats was in the early 1930s. Um, they were 13 and a half feet wide and required a lot of power. They were really heavy and just too um, cumbersome to maintain and actually make feasible to put on a smaller vessel like this, like we have today. Okay, so any size boat can have this or? Yeah, um, with, with a, a Seakeeper gyro, you go anywhere from 20 feet all the way up to over 200 feet and you know, naval ships and big warships and, and, and uh, ships like that all have, have some sort of gyro stabilization. In them. Okay, now I'm a visual learner, so it's my knowledge that you have a little mini one that you can show me how it works? Yes, we do, we do. <laughs> all right, let's take a look at that. So it is an exact replica of what we have going on in our actual gyro down here. Okay. So this is actually just a mini version of what's going on. So um, basically a gyro is um, a, a spinning flywheel. And the principles behind the spinning flywheel are that the faster you spin that flywheel, that heavy mass, the more inherently it wants to stay upright and stay super straight. So what we'll show you here is the spinning flywheel and it's fixed about the center, just like it is down here. So as when our sea keepers turned on and unlocked, a wave comes from the side to hit the gyro and notice it continues to stay upright. Wow. So this will just continue to stay, to, to hold us upright, no matter what angle the wave hits it from here in this, this display model. And so what I'll show you is I'll let you feel the actual torque something so small releases here. Okay. Let me just change the angle. Yeah, I got the other one. I just got to... Uh, I think I missed this day in physics class. Yeah, it's... <laughs> <laughs> me too. Here, Brian, you want to spin that up? Brian will get it, Captain Brian will get it spinning a little bit faster for us. Okay. And it's actually, it's, it's pretty cool how such a small gyroscope spinning fast, actually, you really feel the side-to-side the -side, uh, compensation and torque. So just like on our model here, we're, we're affixed on a port to starboard gimbal, and as a wave comes side to side, the gyro 
accounts for that and counteracts the roll with torque. So wow, okay. if you want to recreate the, sure. the wave and go side to side, you'll feel. Oh, okay. I'm not sure if you can see this visually, but what I'm feeling is whenever I turn it, it kind of pushes back. Pushes and it on wants the, to the opposite stay, way. Yeah, yeah, it wants to stay It's fighting centered. to stay upright. That's so really cool. when that's affixed to the structure of a boat, it dissipates that energy and spreads that energy across the whole vessel and, and stabilizes it. Okay. So then my hands right here would be like waves. Your hands are representing oh. the waves, exactly. Okay. That's pretty cool. Thank you for showing me that. Sure. Thanks, Brian. So now I know a lot of yachts have the fin stabilizers. Yes. Can you explain the difference between that and this kind of stabilization? Well, similar to what we're trying to do, which is eliminate boat rolls, mm -hmm. um, fins are doing the same thing. And so there's a multiple different variety of fins. You have your fixed fins that don't move, that stay in the water. They work best when you're going fast. You need that water propulsion moving along the outsides to keep that boat stable in the water. Where it's different from, um, uh, I guess you'd call them movable, movable fins or uh, yeah, movable fins, the opposite of fixed fins. Um, okay. They work with stabilizing a boat that's at rest. So they don't work very well at high speeds. They're more designed for a boat that's at rest. Whereas a gyroscope, gyroscopic technology is used for all speeds, all sea conditions. It's when you're at rest or when you're going, when you're going fast. So what we find is a lot of our customers that do have a certain type of fin, a Seakeeper addition to your platform already complements something that your boat does, which is either go fast and stable and we can take, we can take care of the slow end or if you're slow if you're stable when you're sitting still we can take care of it when you're going fast so okay so now would it be necessary for a boat to have both the fin stabilizers and the gyro stabilizers or does the gyro take care of both then um, well, I mean, if your boat already has fins, it's not something that you'd want to add necessarily uh, add to your boat. You're adding holes and intrusions into your into your boat, I and see. it limits the depth that you can you can get into. So that's what's great about a gyroscope like this is that you, it's all internal. There's no outside appendages or anything to get snagged on anything or or hit anything any sort of extra running gear uh, okay. associated. So okay, and like you said, when the boat is at rest, is when you can most feel it rolling. Right. Yep. So the exactly. gyro helps with that both at rest and yes, in motion? Yes, by nature you're not going to feel it as much when you're um, when you're going fast. You know, you're not going to need it as much, so you're correcting about 60 to 80 percent of the roll there. Okay. But when you're sitting still, you're anywhere up to 98 percent roll reduction. Okay. Still. Awesome. Let's see. And if you want to take a look, the gyro is currently spinning um, at up to 9750 RPMs depending on our model. Um, the unit is so sensitive that just somebody my size at 175 pounds walking across the deck, you can see the gyro compensate in, the, in there. You see the spear, it will precess fore and aft. And the only time the Seakeeper is releasing its energy is when you're precessing fore and aft. So if you see, I'm walking across the deck and it's compensating for just that change in weight. Wow, that is really interesting. So these things, they look, they look pretty heavy, is that true? No, they're actually not heavy. Because they're inside of a vacuum encapsulation, we're able to make them very much, much smaller than we would have had when we talked about um, older gyroscopes that were really big in the ship. They okay. were hard to keep cool. So because we put them inside of a, a vacuum enclosure, we have an innovative cooling system combined with our braking, uh, braking technology, um, we're able to make these units comp compact enough to be in boats 23 feet you know, and smaller. So this, uh, this unit here is giving off enough torque to offset you know, almost 10 tons of boat. Wow, so they're not as heavy as they look. <laughs> no, not at all. This, okay. this unit here is what, 465, Captain Brian? Uh, 385. 385. Oh, wow, okay, so, so, that, not, not so that's that. a misconception. So yeah. speaking of misconceptions, um, I've also heard that there's a misconception that they can be loud, is that true? No, um, honestly, they're, they're, it's quieter than your, your motors, um, wow. quieter than your bow thruster, your generator, your air conditioning systems, all these other systems uh, that usually accompany a boat. Um, right now, our unit's running at full, full blast. And oh, you can't it, even hear it. You can't even hear wow, it. Wow, okay. It's, it's less than the conversation we're having. And, you know, you remember that this is a, a kind of display and it's up on deck. So imagine down low or in an engine room or under a hatch somewhere, you don't, you don't even hear it. Very true. Okay, are there any other common misconceptions that you have to debunk very often? Um, you know, that it, basically that it won't go, won't, won't stabilize as much when you're going fast. Okay. And it does, it stabilizes just the same. You're just not feeling it as much. It's much easier to really feel the side to side 
compensation when you're sitting still than when you're going fast. It's very true. You know, you're like on a bicycle. If you were to go down a hill, it's much easier to stay stable when you go down the hill than when you're trying to go slow and keep your balance. So. That's true. Okay. So, well, I'd really love to see how this thing works. Do you think we can yeah. see a little bit? <laughs> sure, sure. Let's, uh, let's, Captain Brian's gonna lock the unit so it's not allowed to release its energy. Okay. Um, so you, we wanna do a, a dock rock right now? Sure, let's do that. So what we'll do, since the unit's locked right now, it'll be just like a normal boat, a regular boat without stabilization system. So okay. we'll, now we can get the boat rolling. If you'd help me out, Heather. Okay, let's see. Oh, I think maybe we should get our camera guy oh, off first. Oh, yeah, right. Let's, let's, not, let's, let's not let him in the water on that part. Yeah, let's. Let's help, let's help Mr. Camera Guy off here. <laughs> All right, here's my selfie mode. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, now so, back, back to our <laughs> demo. Yeah, so again, we're now a regular boat, and we can okay. rock side to side and get you that uneasy, uncomfortable. Okay feeling that we're all used to <laughs> and what Captain Brian's gonna do when we get it rocking and rolling he's gonna unlock the unit and the sea keeper is going to engage and have immediate stabilization okay did you feel we that still, I was gonna say it's not rocking it's anymore not rocking. oh wow that is really cool yeah wow so that's 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 our product it's all speeds all sea conditions it's that's awesome. Yeah. Could you do that just one more time so I can see what's going sure, on underneath? Sure. That's really cool. So again, Brian locks the unit. Okay. And now we'll rock side to side. You'll notice it's not, it's not uh, precessing. Right. So it's not releasing its energy. So we'll get it rocking side to side. Wow. And Brian's going to unlock the unit. Oh, wow. So immediately, immediately stabilized. Immediately stabilized. That is awesome. Why doesn't every boat have this? That's what I say. <laughs> That's a million dollar question, right? Exactly. Wow. Exactly. That is that is really, really cool. But now I think the only question I have left is, are we cruising today or are we fishing? I say we do a little bit of both. All Let's right. Go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Paul, what do you think? I think that was pretty cool. I think you've learned something all new today, Heather. That's uh, that really changes the game. That's one of the things that Seakeeper has been able to do throughout the range of boats from small to large is offer people a completely different boating experience. You know, in the years as I was a broker, one of the things that I found out was people, members of the family would love to go boating, but there were certain members that didn't want to go because they weren't comfortable. They'd have motion sickness. And Seakeeper's really opened up, but gyro stabilization has really opened up the world of boating to a lot of people that couldn't have enjoyed it before. Like our cameraman. We might have lost him. <laughs> well, I think we're heading out, Paul. It's been a great week. Thank you so much. You guys have a ton of fun. Now, make sure you bring her back, okay? <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>